Okay, I I think we're good. You got a good shot, Trix? Good girl. Alright, let's do it. Hey guys, welcome back to The Artist Eye. I'm your host, Dante, and this marks episode number four. I didn't do any intro today because today I'm going to have several surprises just for you. First surprise is a special guest which will be joining us via hologram courtesy of Tricks over here. Second surprise will be that we have a new camera system up. Made by myself, I'm going to have several hovering cameras all around me which will allow me to shoot one shot while still keeping this nice documentary format. And the third surprise is the introduction of my Universal Remote. Uh, patent pending, so you might see some new versions of it later on in the future. So let's get started. Altogether, there are about four cameras in here. The stationary camera right in front of me. The second camera, which is on tricks right now. She's been so good and she helps me so much. I decided to give her a little bit of spotlight. The third camera is on the projection screen, which we'll get to soon. And the fourth camera is actually hovering just a no, no. We'll get back to that later. There's still three cameras in here. So, let's get started. Tricks, if you will. Hey Joe, can you hear us? Yeah, yeah, am I coming in loud and clear? Yeah, I think so, man. It, it, I finally got this damn thing to work. Um, everybody, this is Joe, old friend of mine, fellow artist. Joe, does everybody say hi, Joe? Hi, Joe. Yeah, very good. So, Joe, um, what do you have for us today in terms of finding, finding ways to be creative in an everyday world? Tell me, what did you, what did you come across uh, recently? Well, uh, I, I came across uh, a few marks, markings, patterns. Stuff caused, caused primarily by uh, spontaneity, you know, anything that can be caused by accident. Because to be quite honest, there are no accidents. Like, only, like... Because I, I think spontaneity is, is the true key to creativity. I definitely agree with that. So, uh, so you have a few photographs you took. What's this first photograph? Uh, the first photograph here, as you can see... Uh, it's actually, it was a pew mark, uh, left by someone in a, a slab of compound. And as you can see here, it kind of looks a little bit like, uh, it kind of has, it looks like a side profile of something. Oh, cool, cool. You know, I also see kind of a face in this, a skull or some kind of white mask. I then went and I showed it to three different people, and each of, them, each of them gave me different ideas. The first person said it looked like one of those characters from the show Hero 108, uh, this particular bunny-looking character with a skull-like face. Uh, the second person said it looked like one of the Goombas from Mario, especially with its sloping head on either side. Uh, and thirdly, the last person said, you know what, I'm into anime, and this kind of reminds me of the anime skulls. Especially the ones you see in Mega Man, Dr. Wily's castle has all these kind of bulbous headed skulls and large eye sockets. Three different ideas for the same product. What else do you have for us, Joe? Like, what else did you find um, at your work site? This one, this one was even weirder. Uh, this was actually from uh, a whole bunch of, of objects being taken away from a dust covered shelf. And actually, if you kind of look at it, it looks a little bit like uh, another side profile head, but a more like a robotic, uh, a robotic headpiece. I mean, something that it can be, it can be interpreted uh, like millions of different ways. Yeah, I, um, for those of you at home, this is pretty much the Rorschach test. Um, those of you who don't know what that is, the Rorschach test is, well, what Rorschach was in The Watchmen. It is an ink blot. A uh, bit of nonsense, but you take your own idea or own opinion on what it looks like, which is pretty much being creative in itself. So as I've shown before, there's creativity in objects, as Joe's talking about now. There's creativity 
and everything from the stains left behind by paint, footprints, whatever you could find. Even the slightest minuscule thing, you can find uh, just untapped potential. And uh, the pos once once you look at uh, once you look at everything through an artist's p perspective. The possibilities are endless. There you go, exactly. The artist eye. You know, take a take another look at what's around you. Even that little pile of dust in the corner. All right, man. Thanks, Joe. I think I'm gonna start losing you now. So I better wave goodbye, man. So uh, <laughs> see you later, dude. Uh, the technology is still pretty new, but we'll get it fixed. Anyway, that was my friend Joe, fellow artist, and I have a lot more to come in. People who work in film, painting, color pencil, audio. All of which, well, I'm going to share their opinion with us. Tell me, when you saw those images, what did you see? Leave a comment on the bottom, or wherever YouTube tends to put it nowadays. Tell me what you saw, tell me what you think about it, and, as always, leave any questions you have down below. I'm Dante, this has been The Artist Eye, and I hope to see you again.